What sits before you is a testament to my morbid curiosity. I just purchased an Akaso EK7000 sports camera, and uh, I already took it apart. I did one test video. I already knew coming into this that the audio was going to be kind of meh. Usually with uh, GoPros and other sports cameras, the you know the waterproofing and the microphone being so you know dug inside the these guys make the audio quality less than I'd like. Okay, so ah, oh, didn't take me long to have that primal urge to take my claws into this, and I was able to pull this front cover off. It's just held on by some pop tabs. Then there's just four screws one in each corner, and then be careful for this guy. You can see that I moved it, and the power button's missing. We'll get to that in a second. But this is the front and top button. This is using enamel wire, so be really, really careful with it. Um, now, of course, no battery and no SD card. Now, before you go ripping this little bugger apart, realize that the only thing keeping the power button in place is the PCB in here. So this is going to start free floating once you try, try taking this apart. So if you hear something rattling around inside immediately, uh, just make sure it's not, it's, just make sure it's your power button floating around and not a component. But this guy was pretty easy to take apart, but I'm kind of stuck at one point, which is a little moot. But when you, uh, you can basically just stick your fingers in here or just stick a finger in here and gently separate. And the reason I'm saying gently is because there's a flat flex ribbon cable. You can kind of see that right in there that attaches the front panel LCD to the main board. And I have no clean way of popping that or rather reseeding it. Um, I have already have to go in here with surgical tools just to put this power button back in place. I just wanted to see, where the hell is this microphone? And everyone uh, immediately thought it was this, but no, that's the speaker. That would have actually been a better spot for the microphone, but the microphone is tucked all the way over here. So even when I'm using the button presses over here, it's received so loudly over here and it's tucked so far into the camera that, and, and man, there's a bit of room in here. I mean, I might actually be able to mod this microphone without even uh, needing to pop that um, flat flex cable so I can do an external or even a switched microphone jack mod on this guy, but I would really love to be able to pop this flat flex to get the entire circuit board out. Now, I would not recommend just tugging on this like you're fapping away because you're going to destroy that flat flex connector or the hood. And also be really careful careful for the, uh, the front panel because that's enamel wire. And if you've ever worked with enamel wire before, you know how much of a nightmare it is to deal with. Uh, I assume that the only one with the enamel wire because of its availability for like headphone cabling and whatnot instead of using like 30 or 32 gauge Kynar. But you know, if your front panel LED or your front panel switch start going kind of funky, it may be one of these. And it's kind of neat. They actually, uh, let me try to focus this. Ground, key, VCC, and LED. So they actually made it like they want this to be a repairable item. You know, let me see if I can get a, a closer shot of this cable. There's that flat flex in there that I just can't seem to... Uh... I could pop the hood. Yeah, I can, I can get this apart. The question is, how do I slide the ribbon cable back in place and then lock the hood down? I really don't feel like going in here with surgical tools. So this is just a halfway tear down of the Akaso, what the hell was this thing again? The Akaso e, uh, EK7000. That's, that's how little time I've had this thing, okay? I haven't even had enough time to learn its name before I took it apart. And you people wonder why I never had kids.